Hello, here's Stefan Laub from the Cucumber team. Uh, today I want to show you again something on our new plugin Geotexture. Geotexture is a plugin that allows you to map geometry onto uh, another surface, uh, similar as you would do it with uh, texture. Basically, we have here again a scene where we have this uh, rattan style uh, chairs and a side table. We want to build that uh, not only with mapping and displacement and so on, because that not works really on close-ups or from the backside and so on. We really want to model it in detail. With Geotexture, it works very well. I show you in this scene, which is a little, a little bit more complex, uh, how this could work. First, this is just an instance. I turn this off. And let's turn off the Geotexture seats for now. Basically, I have here surface, I mold that. And on this surface, I want to have this woven rattan style uh, construction, which is not so easy to make without geotexture. Uh, like this, it's very easy. Basically, uh, I have here the little seed. We modeled just one little part, like you can imagine a virtual box around it. And this we will use as texture. This geometry we will use as texture on this uh, geometric texture uh, on this uh, surface here. And here we have another seat of woven stuff for this side table. Maybe we'll start with the little side table. So this is the seat here. And it's a child of the geotex table. And I have here just a simple uh, rotated uh, revolved surface, and when I turn it on, the table is done. We will render it afterwards, then you see it better. It's too much uh, wireframe detail here. And the same, basically, I have a copy of this seat here inside the another geotexture copy here. And this surface is here, the geo surface chair is a hypernerb surface which is linked here in the second geotexture object and this has this seat inside as child and I make this maybe now invisible because we just need it to generate to map the geometry onto it and when I turn it on we see the result here it is and this is now really 3D it's really geometry yeah, it's used like a texture but it's geometry you can see it from all sides, it's not like a displacement or something, it's a real geometry or clone geometry, instant geometry. And I uh, have here the count, uh, which I adjusted that it suits the real chair after I modeled it. These are just sweep tubes and simple C4D elements. Uh, maybe I turn the blanket off so you see the chair. So. Actually, the toughest part was maybe to model this base surface, but it's also not really complicated. And then the part that it's normally really, really not so easy to make goes here on one click with just one simple seat, and you're done. I now make the instance copy, so you can instance the whole stuff, make render instances out of it. Uh, that's a render instance, it works very well. And you can place this chair now a hundred or thousand times in your scene. It doesn't matter with the render instances. And uh, you have a very nice and detailed chair. Uh, here I had made also a blanket. This actually, this woven stuff, we used the Tile Pro plugin, uh, which is then texture based. It's similar stuff, only texture based. And Geotexture is geometry based. Okay, so let's render this. Uh, should come so here it comes <coughs> and here you see the result now this is uh, fully 3D geometry no fake, no displacement you can look it from all sides back side, front side, everything uh, you could also bake it to normal geometry also this here, the woven stuff, you see, you even see through it and so on. It's uh, 
as you would model it by hand, just it's done in one click with uh, a geotexture. So we just modeled one small piece here and one single tile here of this woven stuff and then map it onto the base surface. That's the principle of geotexture and I hope you liked it. We will show more videos as said and I wish you a good night and thank you.